This presentation gives some general background information on ball and lead screws. It's not particularly related to max and spindle drives. There are two main screw types, ball screws and lead screws. Ball screws are characterized by rolling balls separating the nut and the screw. Lead screws are characterized by gliding friction between nut and screw. Lead screws can be divided into trapezoidal screws, also called acme screws, and metric screws with standard threads. Trapezoidal screws can take up higher forces than metric ones and are used for larger systems. Small lead screws are typically made with metric threads. One of the characteristic parameters of a screw is the lead. It's by how much does the nut move forward for one turn of the screw. The lead is usually given in millimeter. On screws with several starts, the lead can be higher than just the distance between neighboring thread grooves, which is called pitch. Standard Maxon screws have one start, therefore the lead equals the pitch. The transformation formula for calculating the motor or screw rotational speed from the linear load velocity and the motor torque from the linear feed force can be found in the catalogue and many textbooks. The basic mechanism is, the higher the lead P, the higher the necessary motor torque, the lower the necessary motor speed and the higher the necessary encode resolution for positioning. Ball screws have many properties in common to ball bearings and many concepts of ball bearings such as life calculations and behavior upon preloading apply as well. The rolling friction is low and results in a high efficiency. Ball screws are mainly used in applications that need dynamic motion with short and repeating operating cycles. Ball screws are not self-locking the friction being too low or the efficiency too high. Very often the nuts are preloaded to get rid of the backlash. A high repeatability in positioning can be achieved. This picture gives an impression of how the balls get into the nut. The main properties of lead screws are a consequence of the gliding friction between nut and screw. It results in a higher surface pressure and an efficiency that is considerably lower compared to ball screws. Often, as a result, you get self-locking. The material pairing of nut and screw are of great importance. There are many options possible and a wide variety of lead screws exist. This makes it difficult to give generally applicable parameter ranges. As a rule, however, lead screws are less expensive than ball screws. Comparing the properties of lead and ball screws, still without considering the limitations imposed by the gearhead on the maxwell spindle drive, one can draw the following conclusions. Ball screws are better suited for high dynamic loads. It is for situations where the linear axis is constantly in motion. The high efficiency results in a low heating in these circumstances. Ball screws can always be backdriven. Lead screws with low lead and low efficiency are self-locking. Together with high static load capabilities, this is perfect for situation when a load is to be moved at the position and should stay there for a while. But observe, lead screws with high lead values and low frictions coating can show an efficiency and behavior similar to ball screws. Ball screws are usually noisier than lead screw due to the recirculating balls. Lubrication is essential for ball screws. They work similar to a ball bearing. Lubrication on lead screws depend on the material pairing of nut and screw as well as on the surfaces. Correspondingly, maintenance may be needed or not. Life expectancy is strongly correlated to the nut-screw interface. It is strongly influenced by load, speed, lubrication and temperature. Lead screws have some more advantages, not the last being the lower price. Lead screws are easier to handle. For typical Maxon application, it is with space restrictions and modifications 
Leech screws show advantages as well. At the end, I would like to look at the properties of the different Maxon screw types. Be aware that in Maxon spindle drives there is always a gearhead involved as well, that can alter this purely screw-based rating. Dynamic cycle operation. Ball screws have limited dynamic capacity to do the ball return system. High acceleration leads to slipping balls. Metric spindle of steel heat up too much if operated all the time due to the low efficiency. As we know from ceramic gearheads, ceramic spindles have excellent gliding properties. Speed. Ball screws have limited speed capacity due to the ball return system. Ceramic spindle can be operated at very high input speeds. However, in combination with gearhead, this high input speed is limited. Installation space. Ball screw nuts cannot be made very small. A smaller ceramic spindle might be a good alternative solution. Ceramic screws have a high load capacity. Efficiency. Ball screws are clearly the best, followed by the ceramic ones. Precision. Precision has different aspects. One is repeatability, another is absolute accuracy. Ball screw precision depends on manufacturing, rolled or ground. Ground spindles are generally more precise. Ball nuts are usually preloaded, but preloaded nuts are also possible on metric spindles. So, this was our introduction to general screwdrive properties.